Hi, me again, Jerry. On today's lessons, we try to demonstrate other ways to configure a Spring container. And in a way, we show dependency injection, a way of uh, inversion of control using setter method, construct store, and field injection through Java annotations. Last part of the lesson, we try to use properties file in a way of injecting values to the objects. What we have done so far is we configure the file using XML to define our bins configuration. This time, we try to put a bin inside our container by the use of Java annotations. When we talk about Java annotations, it is a form of metadata. Okay? When you say metadata, not real data. Where we provide data about the program and it's not part of the program itself. And annotations does not affect the operations of the program. Still, we're going to modify our school app uh, applications that handles uh, school records and student employees and um, wherein they have methods that display the initial thoughts and the idea of fun during weekends and again it must be configurable uh, but this time we're going to use Java annotation to give you a picture of what annotations are so all of these things no uh, at, 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 at component auto wired value auto wired qualifier component these are examples of annotations that we're going to place inside our object okay so let's run our eclipse okay so these are our previous project in version of control. Now we try another project. This time I'm going to use Spring Annotation. Project name Spring Annotation. So from here, I'll just create a new Java project. Let us say we name it Spring Annotation. Click finish. You don't create a module for this one. Perspective, no. Okay. Let us close everything. All the programs that we have used on the last tutorial. We add spring libraries here. Remember that we have downloaded our spring libraries on the last tutorial that we have. We'll do the same. We import all the jar files under Spring Libraries. Select all. And we're still going to use all the objects that store on the two packages to save us time in coding. And we copy the existing XML, so we still have a format for our XML file. After that, we can close this project. So it will not mess up our screen later on. There you go. You will all set for now for our annotations tutorial. Okay, so let us open our school app. <laughs> Here we don't we do not do anything much. It will be stay the same. We still access our context XML file, but we're going to modify that. We read the bin from the uh, container to the use of XML file, and later on we print our record at the end. Then we close our context. If we 
check the content of our context XML. Let's open it up. So, what we're going to do here is we remove all of this. Let's delete that. Okay. And we just retain the upper header of our beans. And we'll define a new one. Here, I'll just put a comment. Load component scan. The way to do that, we have context. We'll use this one, context component scan. And the base package would be the package wherein we store our objects. And that would be this one. Because this is where our, most of our packages are stored. So I'll just place here. Um, so this is the only thing that we need to place on our XML file. Let us save this one. As we go back on our diagram, we'll place component annotation on each objects that we're going to use. Let's do that. We'll start on school record. We place it here. So there is an error because the annotations for components is not yet included on our import libraries. So you just hover your mouse and import component. This one. We'll do the same on students. So placing up component should be at the start before the start of the class. Next is instructor. Okay, we're done tagging our components. Now let's go back on school app. Here we say school record context record but where is the record being so you need to define the record being and what is that record being so here you go on school record class you define here the word record so you're saying school record the bean name bean name is record as we go back on our diagram we need to auto wire and and set a value for the id and the name okay let's do that so auto wire is not yet included so we import So the annotation value is not yet part. Next is for the name field. Okay, you asked me, Jerry, what's happening here? What we're doing is actually um, we use a dependency injection using the setter method but why is it that you're annotating the instance variable id name and person we try to say that make use of the setter method here the set id the set name and the set person okay so let us run the program let us save the programs and let us try to run this one okay so we committed some error messages here so if you see this one error creating bean record unsatisfied dependency field person nested is no qualifying bean type of school domain person available expected matching found two two 
So that would be instructor and student. So that is the error message. What's happening here? Our application is trying to auto wire the person object. But person object is an interface. So you would say, if we go back on the diagram, which of these do you want to use? Is it the student object or the instructor object? So you need to select one. So that's the make use of the qualifier. And what would be that qualifier? That qualifier under person at qualifier. And we name this one as my student. So that would be the name of the beam. You hover this one, import qualifier. And you go on student. And the name, name of this beam would be my student. Okay, you try to save everything. We run. And we have already our output. So these are student. What if I want to make use of the instructor? So you simply change this one. You say this one, my instructor. Okay, this one and rerun. Okay, so what's happened? So there is no instructor. We go on instructor. We we forgot to indicate the name the name of the beam. So that's the name of the beam. You save it. Again, run the application. So it becomes an employee record. What have we done so far? We say we put an annotations here. We annotated the integer, the instance variable integer ID with a value of 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're saying auto wired because we're trying to wire this one for this component re record that we're going to put a value on it. The same with name. On this case, I place John. And the same with the person and the person object that he needs to select, we qualify it with the qualifier. What we have here is the bin ID or the bin name. Let us try to remove the bin ID. Actually, identifying the bin ID or the bin name is not really that necessary as long you follow the naming convention and what would be the naming convention so here i can just remove the component this one okay so what would be the default bin id or bin name for this one so school record its default bin id would be small letters school then record so that's the naming convention. So it's already automatic that Java creates a bean name, which is the same of the class name, which is the school record, but start with the small letter. So here we identify, instead of record, we just say school record. Let us save this one here with this running let us run okay so it scanned already the school record the same way what what we're going to do with the my instructor so you don't need to you could do this you can name customize a bin id for a particular object but it won't be necessary as long as you follow the naming convention you go on for example instructor going to remove this one student the same going to remove this one okay so what would be the qualifier for this one i'll just say it would be student and making use of the student beam name which is also the same as this one so you don't need to identify this the beam name for this one it's automatic java can detect that 
let us save all and rerun this one let's see if it works see already a student if we go back and change this one to instructor with small letter i save it rerun it becomes an instructor the next thing that you need to understand because this is by setter method operations you don't actually need this setter method for the tree so there is a technology behind which is called the java reflection technology if we try to remove the setter method let's remove this one and we try to remove the set name and the person so you still behind it is generating a setter method on its own because it's auto wired you don't need those uh, methods let us save this one let's try to rerun this one still you generated the correct output okay let's go back jerry what you have done so far is using setter method uh, dependency injection what if you use a constructor instead of setter method can we do that the answer is yes so if we remove this one so i'm going to use this one what we have here i test placed here on the wire Okay, before the integer ID, I will paste here at value. Okay, so you will notice that what I'm trying to enter here is a string. It's automatically converted into an integer, so we don't have problem with the conversion. So the same thing that we're going to do for name. Same with person. Okay, so here we're trying to use a, a constructor. So the same, but this time we're using constructor method. Okay, it should not be value, it should be qualifier. Let's save this one, rerun. So we still have becomes instructor you can change the data if you want to check so it becomes a student what about if i want to access a property spy can we also do that on property spy how do we do that so at the start of class program i will say here include that it's already there so there should be a value for this one that would be class path colon the name of our properties file so let me say i put the record properties i'm done setting our properties let us create a file record properties click source right click new other we go on general, collapse general, create a file. Type this one record at properties. See this one. We go back on our school record. You could also do this by set or method, but on this case, I'll just try to use the constructor method. I'll paste here. The same here, the same what we did last time. So that would be dollar opening base. So that would be the code dot id closing base. For the qualifier, we cannot do. There would be some complications if we change this or place this on a properties file. Please let it as a student for now this one let us save this one let us 
run okay so what happened here record name e okay record name it's done what happened here something's wrong okay so i forgot the and I will save let's rerun school app rerun oh it's there so it seems a breeze doing this activity still we have make use of an XML file but this time it becomes simpler you will say so you have an options to use Java annotations if for example you have a bigger project so it is uh, easy for you to define every bin that you're going to place in the container by the use of Java and what we did we have on the XML part is just a way to scan all the components related to our application when identifying components you identify those objects that are be used when you execute your program. Next on our list would be the configuration of our Spring Container using Java source code. That would be on the next tutorial.